Moin Moin. Today we will learn how to jump from boring looking text based flashcards to a nice looking ones that contains images, audio and can be used for learning every aspect of foreign language. This is already a second video about Anki, the app that we are using for creating and managing flashcards. So if you didn't watch the first one, do it now, link in the comments and then come back to this video. And if you are already familiar with Anki and you know how to create text, how to create cards, how to create card types, then let's go. Initially, I wanted to create a video where I explained the whole process of creating Anki cards using some special languages for styling cards. But down the road, I understood that it can be overwhelming for non-tech people, sometimes even for tech people. So I decided to go with a different approach. I created a document, link will be in the description, where I described three ready to use templates for Anki cards. These are three templates that you can use for training pronunciation, vocabulary, even grammar. And in this document, you have all information you need to create these cards in Anki. And in this video today, I will show you how to use this document to create your own card types, how you can modify these templates a little bit to make it looking nice for you. So let's get started. We will start with a type that I call image first guest card. Uh, it has image on the one side and the actual word and pronunciation audio format on the other side. These type of cards help you to improve your vocabulary. And to start, we need to just create a deck in Anki app. I will call it demo deck. And now we open this deck, click add. And now we need to create card type based on this document. I already showed the whole card type creation process in the previous video, so I will not be explaining all details now and we will just go through the most important step. So first of all, we need to go here to type, then click manage button, then add new type here. We select add basic and add some name. I will call it image card. Now we need to find this image card here. Yes, we close this window, image card. And now we need to define all fields for this card type. In the document, I already described all fields. We will need just three, word, image, and audio. So now I click on this fields button. I will rename first field and it will be word. Second one, I will rename to image. And I will add another one, audio. Now we save the list of fields and we can start filling it. For all three templates, I will use the same word that I'm learning right now, erreichen. And you already know how to fill these text fields. So you just type there whatever you need. And for non-text fields, you just need to open folder on your computer where you have this image and audio file. And you just drag it to the field in Anki app. And same you do with audio. Erreichen. You may ask me, Ivan, where I will find these images and audio? So with images, it's simple. You can just go to Google images and uh, find some images that are related to the word you are learning, or you can use some AI tools. I have a separate video about using AI image generation for learning words. In this video, I show how to learn grammatical genders with AI videos, but you can use same tools for any kind of images and any kind of words. And with audio, it's a little bit trickier you can record the word pronunciation yourself or ask one of your native speaking friends if you have any native speaking friends. But there are also some tools that you can use to find these audio files with word pronunciation. For example, Forvo. I will leave link in the description. This is a website where people just publish an audio files with some word pronunciation. You need to create account there and everything is free. You just type the word here, for example, erreichen. And then you see that there is audio available for this word. You open it and you actually see three different variations. You can listen it. You can see some rating here and every audio file you can download as MP3 and use in Anki app. Once we've add all data for the first word, we can go to cards and create templates for this card type. I already showed you before how to use front template and back template, but there is a third section called styling. For creating templates in Anki, we are using HTML and CSS. 
these are languages that usually we're using for creating websites. If you are familiar with HTML and CSS, then you know what to do. But if you don't know how to use them, then just use templates that I provided in a file. So you scroll down a little bit and you see separate sections for front template, back template and styling. And you just click this copy button here. Then you go to front template in Anki interface and just paste everything here. Same goes with back template. And now where the magic is happening, we go to styling and just replace everything with the code from template. And now you see that we have nice looking card here. If you don't know how to use HTML and CSS, I wouldn't recommend you to change these templates too much because you can break them, but you can still play around a little bit with styles. For example, in the template for the front side, we have element that is called card front, and this is basically the card itself. So you can go to styling section now, and you see some styles for this card front. Technically, you can go and Google every property here, but some of them are very self-descriptive. So for example, background color, it's easy to understand that it's background color and right now it's pisk, but you can change it, for example, to red or to blue. You can change the width and height of your card. So for example, 400 pixels or make it smaller 100 pixels, then it will be a little bit broken. So the best way of understanding how to change these templates, you just go here, you change something, you see these changes in the preview screen, and then you try to change something else, and then you have an understanding how it works. But again, this is completely optional because already with these templates and with all these styles, cards looks nice. Now, if I want to save this card type, I click save button and I want to create my first card, so I click this add button and this card become part of my deck. Another type of card that is described in this document is audio prompt card that has audio file and pronunciation in IPA format on the one side and the word itself with its meaning on the other. So just as before, we create new card type, we create the list of fields, then we fill these fields with all necessary information and then jump to cards templates. One important thing here, you see that I'm not using direct translation to my native language or to English language. I believe it's much more efficient to have the meaning of the word written in a target language. You can use Google Translate to create this description of the word or just take a vocabulary and read what's written there. So once we have our fields filled, we go back to the document and copy these templates and paste it to Anki. And we paste all information to front template, back template and styling. And the last type of cards is word form card, as I call it. These cards are extremely useful for learning grammar when you need to put word in a sentence in a correct form. And for this type, we are using two properties called Q sentence, question sentence and A sentence, answer sentence. In the first one, we have some gap with one word missing. And in the second one, this gap is filled. And once we created all three types of cards, we can create cards and add it to our deck. Of course, every card type can be used in separate decks, but let's see how it looks in actual learning process. We click this study now button. And this is the first card type. Erreichen. Now this grammar card with word form. And this card for training, listening and pronunciation. I hope these three templates will be useful for you and will help you to add some variety in your flashcards library. If you have any problems with creating cards or you just have some feedback, please write in the comments and I will answer everyone. Also, let me know if you are using flashcards in your language learning process and what other tools are you using or maybe interested in. Thank you very much and see you later.